Hi! Hello! Week 6 na tayo ng quarter 3. At ang pag-aaralan natin for this week ay area of composite figures. So, when we say composite figures, ito'y nangangahulugan ng combination o pinagsamang plane figures. Ano ba yung plane figures? Yun yung pinag-aralan natin dati na may dalawang dimensions. So, aarali natin ngayon paano ang pagkuha ng area of composite figures. Huwag kalimutan, pagkatapos, mapanood, maintindihan, at aralin ang ating tutorial video for this week. Comment, hashtag your full name, hashtag area of composite figures. At sagutin ang mga tanong na, what is area of composite figures? And, how can we get the area of composite figures? So, let's start with the problem and let's analyze. Barangay officials beautified the 30 feet by 20 feet children's playground by covering the floor of the playpen with cut pieces of tires except the area of 11 feet square sandbox. Ang tanong, what is the area of the portion that was covered with tires? So, if you notice, meron na namang mga details na naka-highlight. Yun ay ang mga detalyeng 30 feet by 20 feet, 11 feet square sandbox, and syempre yung question na what is the area of the portion that was covered with tires. So, i-analyze natin itong mga given na to. So, from here, 30 feet by 20 feet, you can guess or you can say that the given the the first given plane figure i rectangle because of the measurement 30 feet by 20 feet and then dito obvious naman na ang isa pang plane figure i square because of the word square at may given din a measurement which is 11 feet so ang hinahanap ano daw ang area noong part ng playground na natakpan ng tires. Kasi ito yung natakpan ng tires, 30 feet by 20. Ito yung kabuuan, sorry. Ito yung kabuuan measurement ng playground. At ang ibinigay lamang ay yung measurement ng isang side ng square sandbox na matatagpuan din o kasama doon sa playground. O, let's visualize the problem para mas madaling maintindihan. So, ito yung rectangle na ang measurement ay 30 feet by 20 feet. Ito, 30 feet at saka 20 feet ang kanyang measurement. And then, sa loob mismo ng playground na isang ang rectangle ay mayroong square part kung saan ito yung sandbox na ang measurement ng isang side niya ay 11 feet. So, anong dapat natin gawin para malaman? Kasi ang hinahanap, ano daw ang measurement nito, nitong uh, natatakpan ng tires. Ito kasi yung natatakpan ng tires, yung kulay blue. So, yan lang ang kukunin natin. Ano ang area niyan? So, anong dapat gawin? Una, kunin muna natin ang area ng rectangle. At ang formula ay area equals length times width. O, oh, tandaan ha, ang ibig sabihin ng magkadikit na yan ay multiplication. So, let's say the length is 30 feet. Ito yung haba niya. At yung width niya ay 20 feet. So, we will multiply 30 by 20 and the answer is 600. And ang kanyang unit of measurement ay square feet. Tandaan, binabasa ito ng square feet. Feet. Bakit siya naka-square? Kasi mga bata, kapag kinukuha ang area, ang kanyang unit of measurement is in square units. Laging may square, yung exponent of 2 na nasa itaas ng unit na given. At binabasa yan na square blank kung ano man yung given Measurement. So, in this case, ang given measurement ay feet, kaya binabasa siya at sinusulat na square feet. 
So, ito ang area of the rectangle. 600 square feet. Ngayon, kunin natin ang area ng square. Ito, yung nakaalat para sa sandbox. Ang formula ng area of square is area equals S squared. Anong ibig sabihin ng S squared? Ibig sabihin ay side times side. So, imumultiply mo to itself yung given side ng square. So, the given side is 11. So, that will be 11 times 11. And the area of the square is 121 square feet. Nakuha na natin ang area ng rectangle. Nakuha na natin ang area ng square. Eh, ang hinahanap lang ay itong shaded part na blue. So, anong gagawin natin sa dalawang area na ito? Isasubtract natin. Kasi hindi naman natin kailangan itong area of the square. So, anong gagawin? 600 minus 121 equals 479 square feet. So, 479 square feet is the answer. That is the area of the playground that is covered with tires. Now, linawi natin ha? How to get the composite area of figures? Una, know the formulas of areas of the different figures. Hindi mo kasi makukuha yung area kung hindi mo alam yung formula. Kung whatever figure or plane figure ba siya. Kasi may iba-ibang plane figure, hindi ba? Number two, using what are given in the problem, get the areas of the given figures. Dun sa example natin kanina, ang given figures ay rectangle at saka square. Kaya kinuha natin yung area ng bawat isa, hindi ba? And then, using what is asked in the problem, decide whether to add or subtract to get their composite areas. Dun sa example, ang ginawa natin, tayo ay nag-subtract. Kasi kailangan bawasin yung area ng square doon sa area ng rectangle. So, tandaan, in composite, in finding the area of composite figures, you have to, you have to be aware of the different formulas of the areas. And... You have to decide whether you have to add or subtract to get the composite area or the area of the composite figures. Now, ano-ano ba yung formulas? For area of square, the formula is area equals S squared or side times side. Nakita na ninyo kanina doon sa example natin, hindi ba? Then, for area of rectangle, the formula is area equals length times width o pwede rin naman na area equals base times height. Tandaan, yung length at saka width ng rectangle ay depende sa kung paano mo siya tinitingnan o depende sa given. In this case, let's say I decide na ito yung width kaya dito nakalagay yung width. And I decide na ito yung length, kaya dyan nakalagay yung length. Pero, if it's a problem na naka-indicate naman talaga kung ano yung length at kung ano yung width, tandaan kung ano yung mas malaking measurement, eh yun yung mas papakita mo, e-emphasize eh, mo. Saka makikita naman sa given kung alin ang mas malaki ang measurement. Kung yun ba ay length o kung yun ay width. Okay? So, bakit base times height? Kasi, yung base, that can also be the, pwedeng siya yung width. At yun namang height, pwedeng siya yung length. O kaya, vice versa. So, tandaan lang, any of the two will do. Pero, mas common na ginagamit yung area of rectangle equals length times width. For area of a triangle, kagaya nito, ang formula ay area equals base times height divided by 2. Divided by 2 ang ibig sabihin nito. O kaya naman, 1 half times base times height. Ibig sabihin, a triangle is 1 half of a square or 1 half of a rectangle. 
O eto yung height niya Mula sa baba hanggang doon sa apex o tuktok ng triangle Yun ang measurement na kanyang height At yun namang pinakababa niya Yun ang kanyang base I suggest na ito ang mas gamitin ninyong formula 1 half times base times height Okay? For area of triangle Now, for area of circle Ang formula ay circle equals pi times square of radius. Ngayon, ano ba yung pi? Ito ang symbol of pi. Pi is constant. And its constant equivalent is 3.14. So, kapag iyong sinubstitute to, ibig sabihin, 3.14 times the square of the given radius. Ano ba yung radius? Yung broken lines na pinapakita dito na nagpapakita na hinati ang circle, yan ay diameter. At kapag hinati mo pa ang diameter, kalahati ng diameter ay rad radius. So, half of diameter or one half of the diameter is the radius. Kaya, iyon yon yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Okay? So, paano naman kapag semicircle lang ang hinahanap? When we say semicircle, kung kalahati lang ng circle. Nangyayari kasi ito, especially kapag siya ay i-kinocombine o isinasama sa ibang plane figure. So, pwedeng mangyari, nahahanapin nyo ang area of semicircle. So, the area of semicircle circle equals pi times square of radius divided by 2. Hahatiin mo sa dalawa yung sagot kasi nga kalahati lang ng circle o area ng kalahati ng circle ang kinukuha mo. Okay. Let's go to learning task. So, tandaan ha yung mga formula in finding the area of different plane figures na ipinakita ko sa inyo. Let's go to learning task number 1. Mani painted a four-sided figure inside a circle whose radius measures 30 cm. Each side of the four-sided figure measures 13 cm each. What is the area that is not painted? So, let's visualize. Ito yung circle. Nasa loob niya yung four-sided figure. Ito yon yung green. Kasi siya yung square And then, ang radius ng circle ay 30 cm At ang side na ang square ay 13 cm Ang hahanapin natin ay area na hindi na pinturahan Ito yon yung kulay white Yung natitirang part ng circle Yun yon yun yung not painted Kasi yung, yung square ay napinturahan na so, anong gagawin natin? Una, hanapin muna natin ano ang area ng circle. So, we will use the formula area equals pi times square of radius. So, the equivalent of pi is 3.14 times the radius 30 which will be multiplied to itself kaya may square dun sa taas. Unahin natin yung square of radius. 30 times 30 is 900. Then, multiply natin siya sa 3.14. The area of the circle is 2,826 square centimeter. So, centimeter na siya ngayon kasi yun yung given measurement. Ha? And then, pag nakuha natin ang area of the circle, kukuni naman natin ang area of the square. So, the formula is area equals side times side. The given side is 13, kaya 13 times 13. The area of the square is 169 square centimeter. Ngayon, ang sabi sa rules, kapag kukuha ka ng area of composite figures, you will either add or subtract depending on the problem. So, sa problem na ito, ano ang gagawin sa dalawang area na yan? Ia-add ba o isa subtract? Isa subtract siya kasi ang hinahanap lang ay yung area na hindi na pinturahan. Yung kulay white nga dito na ipinapakita. So, i-subtract natin yung dalawang area. 
2,826 minus 169 equals... 2,657 square centimeter. So, that is the area that is not painted. Okay? How about learning task 1? 2. Find the area of the whole figure. So, in this case, ano naman ang plain figures na nakikita nyo dito? This is a combination of a rectangle and a circle. Pero in this case, Kalahati lang ng circle yung ginamit. So, semicircle. Ano? So, ating i-analyze. Dito muna tayo sa rectangle. Meron siyang 9 cm at meron siyang 2 cm. Okay. Ngayon, dito naman sa itaas, ipinakita yung 2 cm at saka 3 cm. Tandaan ha, the complete. Measurement of this side is 9 cm. Pero ibinigay dito yung 2 cm at saka 3 cm as clues para mo makuha ano ang measurement nitong part na nasakop ng semicircle. Hindi ba? So, kung ito ay 9 cm, tapos ito ay 2 at saka 3, anong gagawin ko dito sa dalawang ito? Yes, ia-add ko sila. At isasubtract sa 9 para malaman ko ano ang measurement nito. So, if 2 plus 3 equals 5 at ibinawas ko siya sa 9, tama, ang measurement nito ay 4 cm. So, that is the diameter. Diameter ng circle. Ngayon, ang hinahanap lang natin ang gagamitin ay radius. Kaya, naging 2 cm kasi half of 4 is 2. So, anong una natin gagawin? Kasi combination siya eh, di ba? So, ang unang gagawin natin is to get the area of the rectangle. And the formula is area equals length times width. So, let's say the length is 2 and the width is 9. So, that is 2 times 9. The area of the rectangle is 18 square centimeter. Any of the two will do naman. Kahit nabaligtad yan, let's say, ginusto mo na yung length niya ay 9 at yung width niya ay 2. Pag minultiply mo naman yan, pareho rin ang magiging area nila. Kasi multiplication yung involved. Okay? So, how about the area of the semicircle? Semicircle lang tayo kasi kalahati lang nung circle ang ginamit dito. So, the formula is pi times square of radius divided by 2. So, let's substitute. The pi is 3.14 times the radius of 2 na gagawin nating squared. Kaya, 2 squared yan o square of 2 divided by 2. So, square of 2 or 2 squared is 4. So, multiplied by 3.14 is 12.56 divided by 2. The area of the semicircle is 6.28 square centimeter. So, anong gagawin naman natin ngayon dyan? Sa dalawang area na yan. Sa area ng rectangle at sa area ng semicircle. Mag-a-add ba o magsasubtract? Tama, mag-a-add. Kasi eh, ang hinihingi ay find the area of the whole figure. Yun daw kabuo ang figure, ano ang area niyan. So, i-a-add natin ang 18 square centimeter sa 6.28 square centimeter. And the area of the whole figure is 24.28 square centimeter. How about learning task 1-3? Ang sabi naman, calculate the shaded region. Yun lamang daw shaded ang ating kukunin. So, ano ba yung mga figures na nandito? We have here a triangle and we have a square. So, ano-ano ang mga measurement? Punta muna tayo sa triangle. Ang kanyang base ay 10 cm. Ang kanyang height ay 8.7 cm. And then, yung square na nasa loob niya ay nagbigay ng side na 2 cm. Doon kasi sa lip, dalawa yung nakalagay na measurement. Pero pwede naman na isa na lang yan kasi alam naman natin na kapag 
square, pwedeng isang side na lang yung ibibigay. Measurement ng isang side. So, anong unang gagawin natin? Let us get the area of the triangle. So, the formula is area equals one half times base times height. I-substitute natin. Ang base ay 10 at ang height ay 8.7. So, inilagay ko pa rin yung one half. So, unahin kong i-multiply yung base at saka yung height. So, ang sagot ay 87. 10 times 8.7 is 87. And then, i-multiply sa 1 half. Ang ibig sabihin nito ay 1 half times 87 over 1. Diba? Ganun yon kapag nag-multiply tayo sa fraction. So, paano naging 43.5 square centimeter? 1 times 87 is 87. 2 times 1 is 2, kaya 87 divided by 2. 87 divided by 2 is 43.5 square centimeter. That's the area of the triangle. Now, hanapin natin ang area ng square. Area equals S squared. Alin man sa dalawa ay pwede. S times S or S squared. Nasa sa inyo yan kung anong formula ang gusto nyong gamitin. Provided na gagamitin nyo siya ng tama. So, the side is 2 squared or 2 times 2. The area is 4 square cent 4 centi 4 squared centimeter. Sorry. The area of the square is 4 square centimeters. Anong gagawin natin dyan sa dalawang area na yan? Sa area ng triangle at sa area ng square. Ang sabi, calculate the shaded region. So, anong gagawin? Magsasubtract Isasubtract natin yung area ng square sa area ng triangle Dahil ang hinahanap lang naman E eh yung area na shaded Yung may kulay na blue So let us subtract 43.5 minus 4 The area of the shaded region is 39.5 square centimeter now, let's go to learning task 2-1. A circle is inscribed with a 7-meter square. When you say inscribed, parang tinatakan o nilagyan, ano? What is the area in square meter of the shaded region? So, may circle na nandun sa square. Ibinigay ang radius ng circle, which is 3.5 meters. Ibinigay naman ang side ng Again, ibinigay ang radius ng circle which is 3.5 meters. Ibinigay ang side ng square which is 7 meters. Ang hinahanap, ano ang area in square meter ng shaded region. So, ito lang yon, Ito lang part na may blue kasi siya yung shaded. Okay? So, this is a combination of circle and square. So, ano unang gagawin? Let's find the area of the circle. Area equals side times side. The given side is 7. Kaya, area equals 7 times 7. The area of the square is 49 square meters. How about the area of the circle? Area of the circle equals pi times square of radius. Pi equals 3.14 and the given radius is 3.5. We will multiply it to itself. Kaya, magiging 3.14 times 12.25. 12.25 comes from 3.5 times 3.5. And then, when you multiply 3.14 times 12.25 or 12.25, the area of the square, ah, sorry, the area of the circle, the area of the circle is 38.465 square meters. So, dahil lang hinahanap ay area ng shaded region, anong gagawin sa kanilang dalawa? Isasubtract. So, 38, sorry, 49 minus 38.465. Ito yung area ng square, ito yung area ng circle. 49 minus 38.465 equals 10.535. Square meters. That's the area of the shaded region. 
Learning Task 2.2 What is the total area of the figure? So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang figure na ipinapakita ay rectangle at saka semicircle. So, ang measurement na ipinakita ay 5 meters at saka 6 meters. Walang ipinapakitang measurement ng semicircle or radius ng semicircle. Pero kahit hindi ipinakita ang radius ng semicircle, madedetect mo naman yon because of this given. Kung ito ay 6 meters, nakatumbas naman ng measurement ng diameter ng circle. So, ibig sabihin, ang radius ng circle ay 3 meters. Kasi kalahati ng 6 ay 3. 3 meters yan ha. Huwag kayong malito. Nakatagilid kasi siya. So, ano uunahin natin? Let's find the area of the rectangle. Area equals length times width. So, let's say the length is 6 and the width is 5. 6 times 5 is 30 square centimeter. That's the area of the rectangle. Kunin natin ang area ng semicircle. Area equals pi times square of radius divided by 2. So, substitute, pi is 3.14 times 3 squared because the radius is 3 divided by 2. So, 3 times 3, sorry, 3 times 3 equals 9. 3.14 times 9 divided by 2. 3.14 times 9 is 28.26 divided by 2. The area of the semicircle is 14.13 square centimeter. Mag-aad o magsasubtract? Mag-aad kasi ang hinahanap ay total area of the figure. So, i-combine natin yung area ng rectangle at area ng semicircle. 30 plus 14.13 equals 44.13 square centimeter. That is the total area of the figure. Now, let's go to assessment. Mr. Cruz wants to repaint a key spot in his basketball court. So, this is the basketball court that Mr. Cruz wants to repaint. What is its area if the radius of the circle is 6 feet? So, since ang ginamit ditong word is key without an S, I assume na ang hinahanap lang niya ay eh yung key nung isang side ng court. Kasi di ba ang basketball court, dalawang side? Tinan nyo dito sa illustration, meron siyang left side at meron siyang right side. Pero, kung pagbabasihan ang problem, Ang sabi, nirepaint daw yung key spot at dito, isa lang yon. So, let's assume na ito ang ating hahanapin. This is spot in his basketball court. At ang binigay na radius ay ano? 6 feet. 6 feet ang radius. So, kung 6 feet ang radius o kalahati ng diameter ay 6 feet, Yung diameter niya is 12 feet. Given na yung 15 feet. Ha? Given na. Pinakita na yung 15 feet. Sinabi lang dito ay yung radius ng circle ay 6 feet. Kaya naging 12 feet siya because pag in mo yung dalawang radius, that will equal to the diameter which is 12 feet. Ngayon, analyze natin. Area of the key spot ang hinahanap. Ang given ay 6 feet, which is the radius, at 15 feet, which is the width of the key spot. Yung lapad ng key spot is 15 feet. Ngayon, anong operations ang ating gagamitin? Gagamit tayo ng multiplication, division, at subtraction. Ano ang number sentence o formula? Ayan. Ito ang... Formula na naisip ko. 2 times radius times width minus, open close parenthesis, pi times square of radius divided by 2. Saan galing tong Saan galing itong 2 times radius? 
kasi ang ibinigay ay radius which is 6 feet, di ba? So, dahil yung basketball court o yung key spot na ating nakita sa illustration, yung key spot ng basketball court ay nagpapakita na combination siya ng rectangle at saka circle. So, ano ba ang formula ng rectangle? Hindi ba length times width? Eh, bakit naging 2 times R ito? Kasi ang binigay nga ay eh, yung radius ng circle, which is 6 feet. Kaya, kung tutuusin, itong 2 times radius, yan ay equivalent to the length. Diba? So, let us substitute. Oh, sorry. Ibibigay ko muna ang sagot. Then, i-explain ko kung paano nakuha. The answer is 123.48 square feet. Paano nakuha yung answer? Let us compute. Area of key equals area of rectangle minus area of semicircle. Yan talaga yung essence ng problem. Para daw makuha yung area of key, kailangan mong kunin yung area of rectangle at saka area of semicircle. Tapos isubtract mo yung area of semicircle sa area of rectangle. O anong formula? Para makuha ang area of rectangle, yung length, irerepresent siya na 2 times radius. Because the given is the radius times the width minus pi times square of radius divided by 2. So, ang given radius ay 6. Kaya, 2 times 6 times 15 minus 3.14 times 6 squared divided by 2. Yung 6, yun yung radius, di ba? So, 2 times 6 is 12 times 15 minus 3.14 times 36. 36 is the product of 6 squared divided by 2. 12 times 15 is 180. 3.14 times 36 is 113.04 divided by 2. And that is 180 minus 56.52. The area is 123.48 square feet. So, yan yung area of key. Ngayon, paano kung ang hinihingi ay yung area ng dalawang keys? Kasi yung kinuha lang natin, yung area of key doon sa left side. E paano kung gusto rin kunin yung area sa right side? So, ano ang formula? 2 keys equals 123.48 times 2. Imumultiply mo lang sa 2. So, 123.48 times 2 equals 246.96 square feet. That's the total of the two areas ng key or two keys. O, ngayon, yung pinakita ko kanina ay combination na ng formula. Paano kung gusto naman na isa-isa? Isa-isang isold Halimbawa, unahin yung rectangle Then isunod yung semicircle Para makuha yung key spot So, let's have rectangle muna 2 times radius times width So, that will be 2 times 6 times 15 Then 12 times 15 180 square feet Kapareho rin nung kanina na nakita Kaya lang yun nga ay ano, pinagsama yung dalawang formula for semicircle, pi times square of radius divided by 2. So, 3.14 times 6 squared time, divided by 2. So, that will be 3.14 times 36 divided by 2. 113.04 divided by 2. The area of the semicircle is 56.52 square feet. Paano kukunin ang key spot? Area of rectangle minus area of semicircle. 180 minus 56.52 equals 123.48 square feet. Kung gusto hanapin yung combination of two keys, you just multiply the area by 2. So, 123.48 times 2 is 246.96 square feet. So, ayan. Yan yung kapag iisa-isahin ang pagkuha ng area. Kasi, baka gusto ng teacher nyo na isang diretsyo ang pagpapakita ng formula. 
So, iyon yung gagawin nyo, yung nauna. Kapag naman ang gusto ay isa-isa, ganito naman ang ipapakita. Okay? So, let's wrap up. How to get the composite area of figures? First, know the formulas of areas of the different figures. Next, using what are given in the problem, get the areas of the given figures. And the last, using what is asked in the problem, decide whether to add or subtract to get their composite areas. Ano yung mga plain figures na pinag-aralan natin and we get the areas during this lesson? Yon ay rectangle, square, triangle, and circle. So don't forget the formula in finding the area of each plain figure para magamit mo to get the area of composite figures. Ano nga yung composite figures? Combination of plain figures. In this case, sa bawat ginawa natin ay kalimitan dalawa. Dalawang plain figure ang pinagsama or dalawang plain figure ang meron doon sa composite figure. So, that's it. I'm sure na intindihan nyo ang ating lesson. Medyo mahaba lang ang computation pero madali lang siya. I am confident na kayang-kaya nyong sagutin ang inyong learner's packet. So, tapos na ang ating tutorial video. Don't forget to comment, hashtag your full name, hashtag area of composite figures. At ako ay sigurado na kaya nyong sagutin ang mga questions na ito. What is area? Of composite or what is area composite figures? How can we get the area of composite figures? So that's it for week six of quarter three. I hope you learned a lot during this tutorial video. See you once again next week for another learning. Stay home, keep safe, and God bless you all. Bye.